What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to check out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Loco Sui. So shout out to Loco Sui, thank you for sharing these battles with us. This is Master League, Open Master League. So the big boys, level 50 Pokemon, we got Magnezone, Shadow Machamp, and Gyarados. Something to note for the Shadow Machamp, it is rocking with Stone Edge, which is a legacy move. And halfway through the video, it goes from close combat to cross chop. They wanted to try both to see how it works out. But hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. And let's go ahead and get right into it. A quick update before we get into the battles. This is actually a karate chop Machamp, which is legacy. I didn't realize that until halfway through the video. So just so you guys know, as you begin to watch, it's not counter, it's karate chop. Enjoy. All right, getting into this first battle, we got Magnezone on the lead versus Togekiss. Obviously, a very positive matchup right here. Magnezone has great coverage, and we do see a swap now into Dragonite. So the Gyarados now is going to come in. This Gyarados as well as rocking with Dragon Breath, meaning it can do very well against Dragons, right? Because of the super effective damage, and having Crunch as well for some nice neutral damage is very, very solid. No debuff there, though, but we will see a Dragon Breath now come through. They're going to go ahead and shield on the Gyarados and look to farm down hopefully they can get enough energy to chip away the health there of togekiss but they have to be able to take out the um or align togekiss to the magnezone still because if it lands on the machamp things will not be looking good now we're probably going to see that togekiss come back in and farm down the gyarados one or two charms should be enough to do it but can the gyarados no we're going to see a gyarados mirror right here so they are able to get to the crunch in time thankfully because the waterfalls were resisted right there let's see how much damage this does Decent amount right there, no debuff, but Magnezone, actually they might bring in Machamp, yeah, they're going to bring in Machamp, and then swap into Magnezone when the opponent decides to swap into Togekiss, so this is looking to be a good game, they can easily just go for mirror shots right here, as it does do super effective damage, and will just really force those shields out of the way, um, so this is, yeah, this is looking to be a good game, the attack drop as well, which is very nice, they're going to have to shield right here, they need to watch out for the flamethrower, but I think this is, might just be ancient power, yeah, it is going to be ancient power, so no shield on that that is great counting and they're going to go ahead and go for one more mirror shot so the game isn't over just yet as gyarados with two shields could still potentially win this game um, but honestly just going for these mirror shots right here is really going to force those shields and machamp should have enough damage with counter to punch through the flying typing there of gyarados but gyarados able to get to the charge move magnezone will be shielding right here and let's see if it can get if it can land a wild charge yeah it's going to go ahead and go for the wild charge right here looking to force that final shield and if it lands actually do they have one more shield left Boom! Lands anyways. Yeah, they did have one more shield left, so that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving into the next one. We have Magnezone on the lead versus Metagross. So somewhat of a tough neutral matchup. Obviously, we need to look out for the Earthquake right here from the Magne or from the Metagross, I should say. But Wild Charge as well needs to be respected. We do see a swap into Snorlax, so they're going to go ahead and go for one Wild Charge. Um, this will do a lot of neutral damage, and then we will probably see that Shadow Machamp now come in and unleash the power of Four Fists on this Snorlax. Here comes the first charge move from Snorlax, though, and Snorlax honestly needs to be respected. The damage from Body Slam in these neutral matchups needs to be shielded, um, and we will see them try to build up to two close combat. They're going to let the next Body Slam go through. Let's see if this... Oh, it's a superpower. That lands for a lot of damage, and they're going to go ahead and go for close combats. Now, they do have two loaded up, and honestly, they still have Gyarados as well, which is a nice counter to Metagross. So, Snorlax does go down, and we do see uh, Gyarados come in. Unfortunately, not able to get to the Stone Edge, though, but this close combat should still do a decent amount of damage. As we can see right there, that is actually a lot, which is very nice. Now, Magnezone can come into this Gyarados right here. It has loaded energy. And we will see just that. They're going to go ahead and try to get to two wild charges. We see a swap now into Metagross. So they will have to give up a shield right here. Is this going to be the Earthquake? No, it's just a Meteor Mass shield bait. But they do have two wild charges ready to go. So this is still looking to be a very positive matchup here for Loco Sui. As it does land. And they're going to go ahead and go for the second one. Try to force that shield from the opponent. And then probably bring in the Gyarados. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and bring in the Gyarados for the mirror fight right here. And Dragon Breath will be able to take this one. And the opponent does decide to surrender. So that is going to be a good game. All right, moving into the next one. We got Magnezone versus Metagross again on the lead. 
We know we got to watch out for Earthquake, and we might see a swap out, which they do decide to swap out into Magnezone. So they're going to go ahead and come in with the um, Machamp right here and look to absolutely punish. Now, it's going to be a matter of if they want to give up two shields in this situation, as Magnezone could be going for the double wild charge, which we see right there. And yes, it is, in fact, going for double wild charge. So they will have to shield this next charge move. They're going to let it go. It's just a mirror shot, not enough energy, but hopefully they can farm down with counter no not able to fully farm down which is unfortunate but machamp is absolutely loaded so if we see a togekiss or a gyarados or a dragonite in the back they have a stone edge maybe two for that plus they have close combats for metagross so shields will start to go down we are going to see the metagross decide to come back in so this is where close combat can absolutely punish as they might think it is just a cross chop they do get one shield right there they're going to go ahead and go for the second but will they swap out or will they let the metagross farm them down let's see close combat lands they're going to let them farm down and we will likely see the gyarados now come in no, they're going to go ahead and come in with Magnezone, and it's actually going to be an Excadrill in the back. Ex wow, triple steel. Wow, some would say they have balls of steel when it comes to this, considering that Machamps are probably everywhere in Open Master League, and running three steel Pokemon um, is definitely a risky play, but honestly, it paid off. As you guys saw, the Magnezone was able to put huge pressure on the shields and health of the Machamp. Metagross was able to farm it down, and now Excadrill is looking to sweep endgame, which is so unfortunate here, as they are unshielded, and they're going to go ahead and surrender. So, hey, good game to the opponent right there. Balls of Steel! Triple Steel team. All right, so we got Empoleon now on the lead. First time actually seeing this in the Master League, which is very cool, but obviously going to be taking a lot of damage from the Electric-type move. So let's see how they decide to play this out as Hydro Cannon will still hurt. And we're going to go ahead and see a shield here on the Magnezone. And let's see if we see a swap out from Empoleon as obviously Magnezone is going to build up to double wild charge and here they come. This first one, I mean honestly shields should be going up on the Empoleon right here. There's the first one, here comes the second one and now we may actually see a swap into the Machamp or potentially the Gyarados. They're going to go ahead and go into the Gyarados now and we do see a mere fight right here. So this is a 1-0 to zero shield in favor of Loco Sui and they are ahead on energy energy as well but let's see if they can get the debuff with the crunch crunch does land and they get the defense drop which is huge here for the mirror fight they need to save the shield um, as obviously empoleon does have a lot of loaded energy and they are looking to win this but will we see the full farm down which we do now empoleon is probably going to be coming back in no it's going to be a togekiss which is honestly very nice for them as they can bring in magnezone to that togekiss so things are looking very good no defense drop there though on the crunch so magnezone will be coming in right here but let's see if they try to swap into empoleon no able to get to the wild charge in time this is going to be taking out the togekiss at least i think it is in the level 50 yeah it's definitely enough right there they're going to go ahead and swap into the shadow machamp and counter down so that is looking to be a good game very well played obviously empoleon's drill peck would be devastating but they're actually running hydro cannon maybe they have a blizzard or a flash cannon who knows maybe blizzard but good game right there all right moving into the next one we got magnezone on the lead versus togekiss so another very positive lead matchup right here obviously wants to keep this thing away from the shadow machamp um, and they're looking to stay in, so maybe this Magnezone um, is core breaking the opponent's team, right? There might be a Gyarados on the team as well. Heck, it could be a triple flyer team, which I have seen before, which is Togekiss, Dragonite, and Gyarados. So here comes the first Wild Charge, and it lands. Boom! Takes it out, and there is, uh, it's a pure dragon. So maybe Haxorus? Let's see. Yeah, it is going to be the Haxorus. They're going to go ahead and swap into the Gyarados, and we do see a Gyarados in the back. So the opponent does decide to surrender. All right, so a quick game right there. All right, moving into this next battle. We have Magnezone versus Dragonite. Another positive lead matchup right here for them. Obviously, wild charges need to be landing, though, which can be devastating if the Dragonite does decide to shield. Because as you guys can see, Dragon Breath has already taken the Magnezone down to 50%. So let's see how they decide to play it. Here comes the wild charge. It lands for a lot of damage. We're going to see a swap out right away into Gyarados to catch the charge move. This is going to do... Oh, it's a hurricane. Booms back and forth right here in this game. And Gyarados is able to farm down. So Dragonite is out of the way. 
Maybe Shadow Machamp is going to have some more play endgame. Hopefully there is no Togekiss. All right, it's going to be a Gyarados coming in. This might be that triple flyer team that I was mentioning, but let's see how this plays out. Crunch now coming through. Is it going to land? Will it get the debuff on the opponent Gyarados? It does land. No debuff though, and this Gyarados is able to farm down. So we will see Magnezone now come back in with a bit of loaded energy and should be able to fully spark down the Gyarados. This is also going to be a tell if there is a Togekiss in the back as they are going for Wild Charge right away. If the opponent decides to shield, that might be a big tell for that Togekiss. Here comes the Wild Charge. No shield! And it's a Togekiss in the back, but they blind swap right away, clearing the debuff. And here comes the Stone Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, able to survive with 1 HP in the dream. Will this Stone Edge one-shot? Please land. I gotta see this. It lands nearly 90% of Togekiss's health, and that is looking to be a good game. Very well played. Magnezone and Machamp absolutely smashing it right there with their charge moves. All right, moving into the next battle. This is where Cross Chop comes in, everyone. So just note that for the side. These next battles in the daylight are Cross Chop. I might do that on the fly right here. But we have... Let's see, we have, um, where's Machamp's text? Not that one, obviously it's going to be the third one. We have the uh, Snorlax versus Magazone. We are going to see a swap into Garros, which draws out a Togekiss, which is very nice. But let's go ahead and put Cross Chop in here on the fly while recording, and let's center it. Beautiful. All right, so the Gyarados now versus Togekiss. Aqua Tails obviously are going to be needed to chunk health, and hopefully they can get to two more. Here comes the first one. It's all going to be about timing the charms as well, as if a charm sneaks through, that is the... Uh, oh, man, they might actually be able to get to it. Level 50 Gyarados right here, actually able to force a shield now from Togekiss or completely flip this mid-game. It gets the shield from Togekiss, which is beautiful. Not able to fully take it out, though. And we will see Magnezone now come in. They need to be careful about the potential flamethrower right here. So we might just see a shield go up. But let's see what they decide to do. They're going to go ahead and shield the flamethrower. I think that's a good call. And they will farm down. Now, what is going to be in the back? We know there was a Snorlax on the lead. And the Snorlax does decide to come back in, so maybe there is a Gyarados in the back. That would kind of make sense. Snorlax double flyer, or maybe even a Dragonite. But here comes the Wild Charge right here, and we're probably going to see a swap into Shadow Machamp, which we do. And at the same time, we see a Shadow Gyarados come in. So let's see if they can get to the Stone Edge in time. Hold on, this isn't counter. This is Cross Chop. Or not Cross Chop, um, Karate Chop. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the fast move animations right there. That is not a counter. That is a karate chop. Machamp, right? Oh, it's so hard to tell. You guys might be able to tell me down in the comments, but this is going to be a good game. That Stone Edge landed. That was beautiful. And then the, uh, I'm sorry I didn't boom right there. It's so hard to tell with the, uh, with the uh, shadow, um, basically, aura around Machamp to tell if it's karate chop or um, counter right there as the fast move. But I think it might just be Karate Chop. We'll have to see if they... I think they might have changed it for the second half. Um, but let's go ahead and move into this next one, right? We got Magnezone versus Excadrill on the lead. All right, so very tough matchup, especially on the lead. Let's see how they decide to play it right here. They're going to go ahead and go straight into Gyarados, and we do see a Dragonite swap, and that is a mistake right there, as Gyarados can definitely take this mid-game because of the raw damage from Dragon Breath. So here comes the first crunch. Let's see if the opponent decides to shield. They are going to shield. No debuff as well, which is unfortunate, but Gyarados definitely looking to be in trouble right here as Dragon Claw will absolutely rip it apart they're gonna go ahead and go for a no shield as well and hopefully get to the aqua tail they do get to the aqua tail in time this might go unshielded here from the dragonite let's see what they decide to do yeah it goes unshielded that is unfortunate but fine art of america <laughs> magnezone's gonna come back in and farm down it's all gonna be about what is in the back as well and hopefully we'll get a closer look at if that's a karate chop Machamp, um, which is honestly going to be very interesting um, to see. I'm sorry I didn't notice that before, but it's honestly very hard to tell with the shadow um, aura right here, but I think it is Karate Chop. Let's see. No, is it counter? No, it is Karate Chop. That is Karate Chop. We see the animations right there. Okay, so it is a Karate Chop Machamp, which means the energy gain right here is absolutely incredible. And I do apologize if I didn't catch this at the beginning of the video. 
Um, but maybe it just changed for the second half right here. And the Stone Edge lands. That is absolutely beautiful. Boom. Incredible. So here comes the cross chops right now. And that is going to be a good game. The opponent is surrendering right here. So that is looking to be a good game. So this is definitely Karate Chop Shadow Machamp. Yeah, and it does land. Yeah, the opponent, the opponent, Alt F forward, closed the app right there because the Stone Edge landed. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. We got Magnezone versus Excadrill again. So a lot of Excadrills on the lead for this second half. Well, you're going to see that swap right away into Gyarados. Now, the Excadrill is deciding to stay in, but Gyarados can get to these Aqua Tails very quickly, and it does do super effective damage. So Excadrill needs to be very careful. First one does get a shield, which is huge for a potential Machamp sweep endgame. And they're going to go ahead and load up with two Rock Slides right here. Let's see how much damage it does to a level 50 Gyarados, though. First Rock Slide, that is a lot of damage. Here comes the second one. Will they shield? They're going to go ahead and shield the second one. But Excadrill might just stay in as it's going to be resisting the Dragon Breath. But no, we see a swap into a Gyarados now. So they will be able to get to a Crunch. Maybe even two here. It's going to be a close call. But hopefully they can de get a debuff as well no debuff can they get to the next crunch in time they're risking it they're going for it no they're going to pull off and go ahead and go for the aqua tail i think the next waterfall would have taken them out it would have been very close maybe they would have survived oh the opponent decided to throw a charge move anyway so that is looking very good we might just see machamp come in and farm down i wouldn't be surprised no they're going to go ahead and bring in magazone and farm down that's fair enough but let's see what they decide to do they're going to go ahead and swap Oh, it's a Garchomp in the back. So double ground in the back. Can Machamp pull this one out? Obviously, Magnezone has no play against this team now as Exedrill and Garchomp are heavily resisting the moves from a Magnezone. So it's going to be up to Machamp in order to win. They're going to go ahead and shield the Earth Power. That is a beautiful shield right there. But honestly, this is going to be so close. They're going to need to get to two more cross chops. Here's the first one. This should be getting the shield from Garchomp. And the second one, can they get to it in time? It's going to be a race to the charge move. No, Garchomp is able to get to the next charge move. And I think that is going to be a good game. The Earth Power, boom, one shots the Machamp. And yeah, that is looking to be a good game. They're going to go ahead and go for Mirror Shot. Things are not over. But honestly, there is an Excadrill still in the back. So I'm thinking it's going to be a good, yeah, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and just throw the uh, draw run right here. And that is going to be a good game. Very tough to win some of these matches when a Magazone really has no play, especially against a core of Excadrill and Garchomp right there. All right, moving into the next one, we have Magazone versus Togekiss on the lead. So again, a very positive lead matchup. Definitely nice to see that over, um, the uh, extra drills we've seen of late, but this might again be that triple flyer team that I've said we see it in different um, lead and covers and safe swaps, um, but they have the answers for it here with Gyarados and Magnezone, which is honestly a fantastic duo here. Um, so we will see the first charge move from the Dragonite. They're going to go ahead and shield. Watch out. Big sale on turkeys, I think is what I saw right there. So we got an art expo and turkey sale. Um, so... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and see the crunch come through and it does land which is beautiful so they should be able to farm down but not before Dragonite is able to get to one more Dragon Claw right here. So this is going to hurt but honestly getting oh they decided to undercharge it as well so that Togekiss could come in and farm down. That is a smart play but they will be able to get to an Aqua Tail maybe two no just one I think right here to chunk a little bit of health here from the Togekiss. Now Will we see Gyarados in the back or will it be a nice um, uh, something weak to Machamp is what I'm trying to get at right here. So let's see. Togekiss deciding to stay in. They're going to go ahead and throw the mirror shot, but a bit too late as a flamethrower now is likely going to be coming through. So they will have to shield, but it was just an ancient power shield bait right there. And it is going to be a Gyarados in the back. So again, that triple flyer team, but here comes the double wild charge. This is looking to be a good game. Very well played. First one gets the shield. Second one lands. But my goodness, Magnezone is very low on health. We're going to see a swap right away into the Machamp. And it's going to be a race to get to that Stone Edge in time. Can the Karate Chop do it? This is going to be so close. They get to it again with one HP and a dream. Stone Edge from a Shadow Machamp. Absolutely booming right here. 
boom, takes out the Togekiss, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. So I believe that was the final one right there. So really cool battles. Again, I do apologize, 5-0 sweet, or 4-1 right there. I do apologize about the Machamp. The moveset changed throughout the video, as you guys saw, but I think you guys can get a sense about what this team is all about. Machamp with Stone Edge really takes people off guard, and it does so much damage. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, shout out to Loco Sweet for sharing these battles with us. Congrats on Legend, and like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.